We now begin a link between worlds. Hey YouTube, thanks for clicking if you're watching later. I'll change the presentation if this layout doesn't make sense. Ah, oh, this music. I think just the modern renditions of these music tracks, man. I just want to leave it here for a sec. Okay. The name you use may be sent to other users. Do not use offensive language. Okay. Um, anyway. It's always a bastardization of his real name, so... Um... I think this time it was going to be... Lunk. Lunkles. This is the one I'm up to. Okay, full screen. Hey, Lunkles. Huh? Still sleeping? Ah! Wake up! <sighs> Come on. How you long? How long are you gonna sleep, Lunkles? Do I have to wake you up every morning? I have chores to do. I'll be waiting outside, so get up and let's get going. Papa was really angry. He said that you can't be a blacksmith if you don't get up at the crack of dawn. Oh, this music. Papa is seeming mad that you're late again. Come on, let's get to his shop. Oh, almost forgot. Don't forget to check in here. What do you mean? Where? With the weather vane here. Always give that a spin when you pass by. That'll let you save. Papa says you should always do that. Hmm, not sh sure what saving is. I'm just a kid, nobody tells me anything. Anyway, I'm going to run ahead. Catch up after you spin that vein, Lunkles. I find this really strange that I'm playing a DS game and I'm not having to touch the bottom screen to interact with objects. <laughs> a new weather vane has been added to the map. I wonder if they'll ever do a HD remaster or remake of uh, A Link to the Past. I mean, this is the closest we've gotten. You better head inside. My papa's waiting, Lunkles.
Alright, so tell me, how's that shield suit you, Captain? Superb work as always, but I'd expect nothing less from a master. I do what I can, Captain. Also helps that I have a good source of ore. That shield's tougher than ever now. I wouldn't trust my gear with anyone else. No one can bring the best out of a sword quite like you. So if you'll excuse me, it's time that I forge ahead. Busy day. This is a good game to just marathon. Yeah. I think so too. Oh, who's this? Well, well, if it isn't Lunkles. Sleep late again? You sure you're cut out to be a blacksmith? It's not my business to say, but you'd better mend your ways, lad. There's no future in being a layabout. Late again? Well, come over. Come on, get over here. Time to get to work, Lunkles. Oh my. The captain left without taking his new sword. What? He's gone off unarmed. Lucky you. Instead of getting an earful, you've got an errand, Lunkles. Take that sword and hurry after the captain. Hurry, run after the captain. What now? Don't know where to go? Where else? He's got to be headed back to Hyrule Castle. You still groggy? Fine. I marked it on your map, so get a move. I think for me what made this game special was just it kind of took me back to something that I played so much as a kid. But then seeing how the world has changed and seeing it in... I imagine through my eyes as a kid, this is how I imagined it looked like. You know, by default I'm going here. But there's a heart piece here. Morning, Lunkles. What brings you here so early? Delivery for the captain? He's not at the castle. I know he was headed to your master's shop. Oh, you bumped into him here? There? Sorry. Well, I know he was planning on visiting the sanctuary. He probably just got hung up there. Hope he comes back soon. We've had an outbreak of vandalism all over the walls. Painting is everywhere. Anyway, if you need to find him, I'd say head north of the castle. That's where the sanctuary is. That away is a shortcut. <laughs> oh, right. I was thinking what is D-pad used for, but it's used for camera panning. I wish I could use the D-pad. It's okay. Hi. Oh, look who's here. Welcome to the sanctuary, Lunkles. Eager as ever, aren't you? Is there something I can help you with? I see, I see. You're looking for the captain. Well, you're at the right place. He's come to see my father. The captain forgot his sword. Oh, how unlike him to be so careless. Just a moment. I'll fetch him for you. Coming and going, going and coming. The captain stops by here more than anyone. You'd think he wants to yak with the priest? No, sir. Just making excuses to see Ceres here. There. The midnight brain is kicking in, chat. My reading is starting to drop. She hasn't got a clue either, but I suppose that's what's so lovely about Ceres. Carefree as a bird. But old dumb parrot sees more than people think. Like those paintings on the castle walls this morning. There's trouble, bro- ah! oh, What's happening in there? The, 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 the doors are shut tight. Can't get them open. 
<laughs> what, what can we do? That was Saris crying out. Dumpy. Dumpy. Doesn't have a key. Dumpy. Just digs the graves around. Why do I have to say it like that? Dumpe, wait, Dumpe remembers. Dumpe once heard uh, the priest talking about a secret way into the sanctuary, hidden right in my graveyard. Bad luck, Dumpe thinks, messing around with graves. Worse luck going on the ground. But you, you do it. If you get scared, just swing that sword around. What sword? That sword you got there. Dumpe heard it belongs to the captain, but who cares? Okay, okay. You got a sword, sort of, anyway. The captain won't mind if you borrow it. Use that sword if you run into trouble. Dumpe would help, but these old bones are falling apart as it is, so go find a secret passage. It's got to be hidden somewhere in the graveyard. I love how instinctively I just go here. <laughs> this is what I love about this game is... If you play it a link to the past, the knowledge is going to help you. But it's not the end of the world if you didn't. Man, the lighting on this. This is one of these games that if they would release this on the Switch, ugh, oh, I'd be so happy. I mean, I get that the 3D effect would be lost. The whole, uh, depth thing, but... To those that still have 3DSs, do, do you still play with the 3D on? I have it on right now, but I don't tend to. I, it tends to be on the lowest setting, if not off. I remember that it was a tough sell when it first came out, just... People were like, why would I pay so much just to have this 3D effect? It hurts your eyes with the 3D on. I find that's the same for me after a while. Um, on the higher settings, but just slightly below off. You can comfortably look at it, and it, it gives you some sort of effect. Where's the rat with the key? I just- I wish I had gotten more time with my- my 3DS. I bought it, I bought a bunch of games, and then the Switch was announced and released a few months later. So... I didn't get- I didn't get much time with it, but I think I'll make up for that. Because now that I can stream these games... I, I will do my best to make time to play some of the ones I really wanted to play. I suppose I should do this. What do you want with Ceres? I swear, if you hurt my daughter. And what sort of fiend dares to defile the sanctuary in this manner? <laughs> A fiend? How easily you stoop to petty insults. My name is Yuga, and I've come here seeking nothing less than perfection. 
And you, my dear, are perfection. How can you stand being so lovely, surrounded by these filthy fools? I will put you on a pedestal, or rather, upon a wall, perfect forever. I think my top screen needs a little cleaning. It's got dust. <laughs> Ah! As I suspected, you're even lovelier as a painting. I think her grace will be most pleased. Oh, what do we have here? Another worm comes wriggling in? How'd you get in the sanctuary, Lunkles? Run, child! Why do you just stand there? Run! Not even a chance, not even the captain's sort of chance against him. I believe this worm wishes to tangle with me. Come on then, wriggle, wriggle, little worm. <laughs> I love, I love the classic sound effects. No, Lunkles. You think you can challenge me? Why, I am the portrait of perfection. While all of you merely scribbles and squiggles, the very sight of you offends my eyes. Still, I'll be leaving this ugly world soon enough. Gah, out of my way. Not even that captain of yours could stand against my might. For all his spit and polish, he made for but a crude doodle on the wall. A waste of my magic. Farewell, fools. I'm off to acquire what little perfection I can find in this gaudy world of yours. No, 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 don't take my Ceres. We must warn Princess Zelda. I was worried that for a sec. That was, that was a very long, uh... That was a very long load. I assume that was a load. Oh, look! Majora's Mask. I just noticed that. Ooh, you're waking up. Good. I was starting to worry about you, buddy. The name's Ravio. Hey, you listening to me? What, the rub tastes really good or something? I'm a traveling merchant. I found you in the sanctuary, passed out, alone. Strange, if you ask me. It looked like you needed a pal, so I took the liberty of lugging you here to this vacant house. Seemed like the perfect place for you to shake off the snores. Say what? This is your house. Looked empty-ish to me. Wait, so tell me, what happened to you, buddy? You don't say, some strange man turned a girl into a painting? So you got done in trying to stop him, huh? That makes you a hero, buddy. A real, live, genuine hero. But why are you standing around talking to me, then? You've got to report this to the castle. Oh, hey, wait a minute. To tell you the truth, I've been looking for a place to stay. It's been hard to find somewhere good, so, uh, this is awkward. So, is it okay if I stay here for a while? Just a couple of days, I promise. A couple of days turns into a year, of course. Really? Thanks a million. Finally, no more sleeping in the wild. Tough world out there, you know. Here, take this. I can't pay rent yet, but it's something at least. But you know, they did save us. Pretty old, but a gift's a gift. I know it looks like a hunk of junk, but it's older than old. A real treasure, that thing. A uh, what? What odor? You don't want it because it smells funny? That's the smell of history, buddy. Musty leather, moldy aromas, the rich fragrance of a uh, relic. Okay, fine. I'll admit that it smells like a wet dog, but you gotta know that that's a good smell. Besides, it's a gift, so the least you could do is wear it, buddy. 
Now, pronto, buddy, to the castle. Hurry! Um... I don't know. Bye now, see ya, Mr. Hero. I mean, DS games, they have the second screen. But is, is, it, is it that important? I'm almost tempted to play it with just a single screen, but... I don't know. your horses there. Not anyone gets into the palace. Not just anyone. You say the captain was turned into a what now? A painting? And Ceres was too? And that Princess Zelda needs to know right away? Ah, <laughs> look, I get you on to get to see the princess, but that's a real whopper of a story there. My word, what in Hyrule is all the shouting about, God? I'm sorry, Lady Impa. But this lad here has a message for Princess Zelda, and it's as far as Farfetch gets. Is that so? What is this message? Indeed, Ceres was transformed into a painting? But that's... Well, frankly, it's beyond belief. Then again, strange paintings are popping up all over the castle. There may be something to all of this. Hmm, yes, I wonder. Quickly, come with me. You've got to tell Princess Zelda what you saw at the sanctuary. You're taking this boy at his word, Lady Impa? Hmm, that's that. Head on in. I think I should just stick to this until we get this opening sequence out of the way. Wait here. I announce you... Wait here while I announce you to the princess. Feel free to take a close look at our gallery here. I don't know, chat. Preferences? Should I just... Keep it like this, or... I mean, it, it does show the map, and when I'm tapping, you can see what I'm doing. I think I'm just gonna have to change it for stuff that feels like a cutscene. Painting 1, the Golden Triforce. This gift from the gods, Hyrule's greatest treasure, will grant the wish of any mortal who touches it. The Triforce once stoked greed in the hearts of men. The legendary war was fought to keep it out of evil's hands. Oh, that was quick. Princess Zelda is ready to see you now. Right this way, please. But I wanted to see the paintings. Painting 2, the sealed Triforce. To end the war for the Triforce, the royal family decided to hide it in the sacred realm. They summoned the seven sages of legend who used their power to seal the Triforce away. Triforce split apart. The Triforce was split into three pieces separated forever. One piece remains with the royal family. Another piece has fallen into the hands of Ganon, sealed away with him. The third piece of the Triforce has vanished, though legend says it's hidden in the spirit of a true hero. It slumbers now, somewhere, in Hyrule, waiting for the time when the hero or the world needs a hero. Painting 3, The Demon King. The Demon King Ganon was once just a thief, until the man broke into the sacred realm. There he stole the Triforce and transformed himself. Then he took his evil campaign back to Hyrule. A link to the past. The hero awakens. A hero of legend arose from humble beginnings, awoke to his purpose by a princess of Hyrule. With the master sword, the blades, the blade of evil's bane, he sought the descendants of the seven sages. Together they defeated the demon King Ganon and sealed them away in darkness. Alright.
I bid you the fondest welcome to Hyrule Castle, stranger. I hear you have something to... Wait, it's you. Forgive me, but I might, might I ask your name? Ah, while well, your name is unfamiliar to me, Lunkles. <laughs> I've seen your face in my dreams of late. For I've dreamt of a hero locked in a battle with a terrible evil. What, you've had the same dream, Lunkles? Surely fate has sent you here. Please then, tell me what you saw at the sanctuary. Ceres has been transformed into a painting, the captain as well. I sense a terrible darkness behind these events. Oh, Impa, I fear that evil is awakening once more in our fair land. Fret not, princess. I'd advise that we consult... Saharalaha. No. <laughs> Sahasrala for help. The elder's knowledge of the past, well, is more than vast. I struggled saying that name as a kid, so I just was like, Sahara hala 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 hala. Yes, of course. That's just where to start, so Lunkles. Would you please find Sahara hala 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 hala? The elder should be found at home in Kakarika Village. <laughs> I'm certain he will be able to help. Now, there's just one more thing. I would like to send you off with my most treasured possession. It's a rather special charm. Are you sure about this, princess? The royal family has kept that safe for untold generations. Quite sure, Lady Impa. This has been in my safekeeping since the day I was born. Now we'll entrust it to you. Please take good care of this charm. You will need of it soon. In Animal Crossing New Leaf, you could never read Sahara, so you always said Serara. <laughs> That's fine. I mean, this, this was my version of that. I just saw that name pop up and I was like, what? Please tell Sahara. It's Sarahala. Saha. Sahasrala. I'm just memeing. Please tell Sahasrala everything that you saw. It just sounds like like I'm a cat and I have something stuck in my throat. <sighs> this is my live chat. This is what I'm doing at like one in the morning. Oh yeah, right, Kakarika Village. See, I autopiloted and I was going to the east because that's where Sahasrala is in A Link to the Past. But this time it's it's here. Zelda Master Sword. Oh, oh dear, dozed off again. It's you, Lunkles. But the look on your face, so grim, child, what's the matter? Ceres was turned into a what? A painting? And then she was stolen away? And Princess Zelda sent you here to tell me. Ah, I see. This can mean only one thing. I'm sure you've heard the legends of old about the Seven Sages and the hero who saved Hyrule. Of course, Ceres is a descendant of the original Seven Sages who sealed Ganon in darkness all those years ago. This Yuga you speak of, he must be after the Seven Sages of our day. He surely intends to free Ganon. Oh no! When I heard rumors of a strange man lurking near the Eastern Palace, I sent my pupil 
Ask Falah to investigate. I put him in danger, for he is also a descendant of the Seven Sages. I'm sure Yuga will be waiting for him. I'll never make it in time to warn him, but you, Lunkles, could you hurry to Osphala and tell him everything, please? I've made a note of the location, the Eastern Palace on your map. Can you, z you can zoom in, but you may know that already. There's no time to lose. Go quickly now. Don't need no map. I mean, at some point, I'm sure the map will be different enough. I'll have to look it up. Um, I guess go back to this layout. I mean, this is classic. There's no movement mechanic. <laughs> There's no roll. Probably should have grabbed that. It's okay. Right, but we don't have a bow yet, so... I see, this is where this has changed. That was greedy of me. It's okay. Keeping notes in my head where I've seen heart pieces. Unless, um, I gotta stop basing this off to be a link to the past map. I think that's going to be my downfall, is I'm going to miss out on things because I'm just associating it too much with the original map. Okay, I'm using, I'm using the map feature. Alright, it doesn't zoom in any further, that's it. Wait, what on earth? I mean, this is where you get in, but I can't lift stuff. I'm missing the obvious, clearly. See, this, this doesn't feel like I should be doing this. Wait, are you, then I have items here. Visit south of the castle. Right, okay. South of the castle, gee, I wonder what that could be referring to. <laughs> I 
It's only been half an hour. Wow. Is that really the definition of a while? Because that ship has sailed. Welcome home, Mr. Hero. You said it was alright to stay here, so I've made myself at... What happened? What's that? Saw my signs at the Eastern Palace, did you? I was going to open a store near the palace, but when I saw all the monsters, I hightailed it out of there. Way too many monsters around there for my liking, you get me? But I seem to recall some stone pedestals near my stein. Did you see a symbol on them? Oh, you did. Well, you do remember what the symbol was, right? Arrow. That's right. It was a bow oh, and arrow. Remind you of anything like maybe this? You rented the bow. Don't forget you can aim on the go. Normally I charge your rental fee, but I'll lend it to you for free. This time, anyway. But I'll be taking back it, it if anything happens. Wait. But I'll be taking that back if anything happens to you out there. This is the energy gauge. It depletes when you use the rabbit's item and recharges over time. If energy runs out, you can't use rabbit's items until it replenishes. Try out using... No. I mean, instead of ammo. I get it. Maybe this whole thing is a ploy by the rabbit to just set up shop. in here. Oh, it's changed. The original sound was there, but I get it. I wonder how many people struggled around this map just because they were relying on their knowledge of uh, A Link to the Past too much. where you are. What are you doing here at the Eastern Palace? Oh, my apologies. I thought you were someone I'm looking for. Aren't you, Lunkles? You're the blacksmith's apprentice, right? But what brings you all the way to the Eastern Palace? Vile deeds at the sanctuary? My master sent you to fetch me back to safety? <laughs> this Yuga you speak of, surely... He's cause for grave concern. But why should Sahasrala be worried about me? I'm a descendant of the original Seven Sages. I'm just as powerful as they were. I even got myself a sand rod. 
So, I'm more or less invincible. Bold talk, you might say, but it's simply the truth. I'll get to the bottom of all this Yuga nonsense. Now farewell to you, Lunkles. It also has the rabbit ears on top, so it's not his. <laughs> I rented an item! I am the superior being. Can't turn. Wow. It's okay. You know, despite this being a completely different game, it still takes me. Still takes me back to a happy place. Just the music as well, it's just... Hearing the new renditions of it, love it. Has anyone got any interesting plans for Easter? I mean, tomorrow's Good Friday here. So, it is the public holiday. Wait, what am I doing wrong here? Oh, there's two switches. Right, right, right. That, and then... Ah! Okay, hang on. Tomorrow I'm seeing the Mario movie, so that should be fun. It's... It got weird reviews from critics. Do we get off for work there on Good Friday? Uh, we do, and Easter Monday. Those are the two public holidays. So what I do is I take uh, two days off on top of that. So then I pretty much end up with a week off. So that's what I've done. And it's not that I go anywhere. It's just I, I believe in having a, uh, a reset, a mental reset. Just not having to think about work or anything like that. It's not that I hate my job, it's just, I like my job. I do, but... Just, it's nice to do nothing sometimes. And I, I mean, I don't mean nothing in the sense of, uh... You know, you don't do anything, I mean just not having to stress about stuff.
Yeah, Friday and Monday off too, but no plans. Yeah. But I mean, what does no plans mean? Like... Because I'll tell you right now, like, I, all I've been doing is playing games. <laughs> to some, that, that means no plans. To me, this is absolutely my plans. Is like, I've been watching One Piece. I'm going to go see the Mario movie tomorrow, which I guess are plans, but... Other than that, been streaming and playing games. Don't get from work till off work until Memorial Day at the end of May. Do you have any public holidays? Cause uh here from June what am I doing wrong here? From June onwards... From June until September, there's nothing. It's just this drought. But then, where I live, we have the funniest public holidays of all. Probably play games, but no plans on which ones. No, but that's good. I mean... I, I see that as it's still doing something. No plans with family or anything like that for Easter. Yeah, the only plans I have with my family is because two of my brothers have birthdays in the first week of April. And then I also have cousins that have birthdays in April. So that's the extent of the plans I'm having. But if it was just standalone Easter, we don't do anything. In September, I get a day off for a football game. In November, I get a day off for a horse race. <laughs> I just love... Love talking about that, and then just... The look of surprise when people are like, What? What do you mean you get a day off for a football game? Yes, Americans, imagine... You get a day off for the Super Bowl. That's pretty much what it is. I mean, obviously, people still work, right? But, you know, it's a public holiday here, in this state that I'm in. We get New Year's off, then nothing till Memorial Day, then the 4th of July, then Thanksgiving and Christmas Day. Wow. That's not that many public holidays. Alright, so let's go through where I live. Um, do Australians call it soccer? We call it soccer. However, football is also acceptable as well. Both are, are kind of used. Football is kind of reserved for um, Australian football, which is a different sport altogether. I wouldn't be able to explain it to you, but it's like... It's its own thing. I wouldn't be able to explain it to you <laughs> because I don't really know how it works, but it's it's our national sport and I'm not a I'm not a sports person. I'm not your regular John sports guy. All right, our public holidays. January is Australia Day, which is like our 4th of July pretty much. Kinda. Then in March, where I am, it is Labor Day. Then April is Good Friday, Easter Monday. Then it's the Queen's birthday, which it's not actually her birthday. But that's just the public holiday. I, I can't explain that one. Don't worry about it. It's celebrated on different days depending on what state you live in. So that's June. Then nothing until September, which is Grand Final Eve. Then November, Melbourne Cup Day, which is the horse race. And then Christmas Day, Boxing Day, and New Year's Day. 
You've watched Aussie Rules a bit and you have no idea what's happening. Unfortunately, I wouldn't be able to clarify that to you. <laughs> I'm... That's what I mean, I'm not that Australian. Hang on. That's that one. This is... A puzzle with depth. Okay. I think I need to turn the 3D up. As, as much as I hate to say that. Alright, that's better. You may have seen the screen, like, shift. That's me adjusting the 3D slider. This is definitely a way more intense dungeon than the original Link to the Past one. <laughs> I watched this... this comedian. I don't know who he was. But, American comedian. And the dude asks, are there any Australians in the audience? And an Australian dude goes, yeah! And the American comedian is like, of course there is. There's always an Australian in the audience. And you always see them at parties. You never see them anywhere else. It's always just like, what, I have the day off? Not working this week. Yeah, it's pretty normal in Australia. It's somewhat true. Like, we have quite a bit of public holidays. And it's true that we are everywhere. Wish you had more days off. Yeah. It is- I think it- I think it's good, cause... It's just nice to not have to go to work. And it's, it's definitely needed. Okay, hang on, there's a... Uh... Uh-oh. I need a shield. Gotta save up the PTO, yeah. I've got, uh, I've got too much of that. I worked a lot in in my 20s, so <laughs> I've kind of amassed a bunch of PTO. And I've also amassed a thing we get here. I'm not sure if, if that's the case everywhere, but we get long service leave. Which is after seven years at working at a company, you get a special kind of leave. And then once you get to 10 years, it starts accumulating in its own way, so the idea is once you hit to 10 years, you're supposed to take this big vacation. That's the idea. Can you guess what happened when I got to 10 years? <laughs> Why I haven't taken that vacation? But then with kids, you never know who's gonna be sick, so you save your PTO in case they need you. Yeah, that's fair. COVID. Ding ding. <laughs> yep. Oh. This is on like a separate plane again. I'm just gonna take advantage of the fact that there's money here. That messed a lot of things up. It did. And, uh, I mean, I don't know if you're following the news about Australia, but where I live, it was, uh, the world's most locked down place. It was what? I think it was like over 260 days in lockdown. 
We're across six different lockdowns. And the longest of which lasted five months. And then whilst in lockdown, you could only go outside for one hour of exercise. And uh, you could only go within a one mile radius, give or take. I'm trying to convert it from kilometers to miles, so I might be wrong. So, it was tough, but the flip side is our COVID numbers were so tiny compared to the rest of the world. But it, 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 it sucked. <laughs> it, it, it just sucked. How do I get into this boss door? I have the boss key, but I need to elevate the door. There's got to be something in this room. What am I missing? Because this isn't on the same plane, so... Do I have to... Ah, there's another orb over there. But it's not that high. Ah! Ah ha 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 ha. Ah ha. I, I just didn't see that. That's that's the midnight brain. Did I finish Skyward Sword? I did. Demise uh, went down pretty easily. Ha! After all your posing, all your preening, just look at you now. Now, my fine fellow, prepare to be made into my latest work of art. You'll have a privileged place in my collection of sages. Oh, jeez. I had a bit of Pepsi before, <laughs> so... <laughs> Apologies. Aha! An excellent painting. What a knack I have for capturing the smallest details, just so. Oh, who? You're that wriggling worm I saw at the sanctuary. What? Have you come to challenge me again? I don't have time to coddle would-be heroes. But, since you insist, I will oblige. I should be using this. I'm forgetting my, my Zelda 101. Which is, use the item that you use to progress in the dungeon to beat the boss. Enough of this! You're going to spoil everything! You've forced my hand, I must brush you aside. What a sad, drab painting you make. You can rot there for all I care. Now onward, my collection requires even more perfect paintings. Oh, how I long to hang... Wait, no, to hang that exquisite Zelda on my wall.
<laughs> of the eyes. Ravia's bracelet saved you, but how? Anyway, it seems like you can merge into the walls. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Um, Alright. It's a pretty cool mechanic. Alright, wait, but... Did I not... Oh no, here. Yeah, that's right, there we go. There's two sides. I gotta, fi I gotta remember. <laughs> I can keep doing this. That's not a wall there. It's <laughs> that that's just that's just uh Uh oh. Yeah, this is how you're supposed to do this. But I choose to just wait. looking Jeez, it's sure giving me a lot of money yeah I'm surprised I got demise done uh, in a pretty straightforward manner I was expecting it to take longer I don't want to go out yet There's, there's more stuff to do. That first. So hang on, let me look at this. I mean, there's, there's a whole room over there. Useful power is useful. I didn't need a power to get that. <laughs> I'm just worried that I'm gonna miss miss a heart piece. So that's why I'm I'm being adamant here. Okay. 
Where is this? It's on the outside. Ah, oh, I, I messed that up. Let me go check this room first. There's a chest out there. How do I get it? <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. There's a way to get it. If anything's going to be the heart piece, it's going to be that thing. Hmm. Surprising. I wonder how I missed it. This leads back here. All right, let me go outside again. I need to go out this way. There's got to be a way to get that. There's got to be more on the lookout. But I mean, if this map is anything to go by, it should be out here. Yeah, here. Okay, so it's on this map. All right, what did I do wrong? Okay, there it is, I can see it. Yeah, but you know what? It would have bothered me if I did not get that chest. I would have just thought, okay, I missed a heart piece. My lad, you finally found your way back out the Eastern Palace. But what of Osfala? No. Yuga has taken Osfala too? Worse still, he now has two of our sages? And that fiend said he was going after Princess Zelda next. We mustn't let that happen. My word, what was that? Are we too late? Something dire is happening at Hyrule Castle. There's no time to waste. What? What is going on here?
That barrier. I've never seen such magic. I daren't approach it. But we must break through somehow. Princess Zelda and Lady Impa are trapped inside the castle. Listen well, Lunkles. We must turn again to the legend of old for our solution. These abominable events are an echo of what happened all those years ago. Then, when the castle was in the grip of evil, the hero of that day found the Master Sword. The hero first had to claim the three pendants of virtue to prove himself worthy of the blade. But there we are already thwarted. For one of those pendants is inside the castle of Princess Zelda. Oh, what a quandary. We need her pendants, but there's no way to get it. <laughs> What's that? It can't be. You're wearing the pendant of courage? What in Hyrule are you doing with it, Lunkles? She gave it to you. A special charm. How right she was. She must have sensed the evil in Hyrule and the rise of a new hero to meet it. So, is it you? It must be. Why else would the princess have given you the pendant of courage? She knew you would need to get the Master Sword. Well then, my young hero, you've got a quite you've got quite a quest ahead of you. You've got to find the other two pendants. One pendant has been enshrined in the House of Gales, and the other pendant in the Tower of Hera. I'll mark those spots on your map, Lunkles. What? You got the pendant of courage? Good thing the princess thought ahead. But first, it seems prudent to save before taking up such a great quest. Hey! You've been playing for a while, would you consider taking a break, young hero? I shall head home to my search. I shall head home to search my library for clues to who the other seven sages of our day might be. So for now, it's all up to you, Lunkles. Oh, um, what? Wow, that's unfair. I wasn't ready. <laughs> hey, welcome back, little hero. What happened, buddy? My bracelet did what now? Huh? Who knew? Pretty neat that you can turn into a painting. Wowie, wow, I wish I was you. I wonder if I could steal that power from this weird Yuga guy too. No, what am I thinking? I'm not cut out for that sort of stuff. I'd probably screw it all up somehow and get stuck on some dungeon wall. I couldn't bear it stuck there forever and ever. Oh uh, yeah, I should leave that kind of work to the heroes, for sure. Do you rent? Okay. Doesn't rent yet. Um. Oh. <coughs> Yoo-hoo, golly, it's time to come home. He must have be able to hear me. I hope he hasn't gotten himself lost in the woods down south. Okay. There's some heart pieces. I wonder if I can get them. Let's... Hey! Whoa, hold up a second, Greeny. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Someone else wearing the green hat? Who am I? Haven't heard of me? I'm Irene, best witch of my generation. Still a junior witch, but whatever. Alright, get this. I had my fortune told this morning, right? And I was told I'd be visited by disaster. Disaster! But if I want to change my future, I should take care of green. I was like, green? What should I take care of? The grass? I'm not mowing every lawn in Hyrule. Forget that, I'm a witch on the rise. And then you came along, and then it all made sense. I've got to take care of you, Greeny. So here, take this thing. Been seeing those weather vanes all over the place? Just ring the bell and I'll fly you to anyone you found. Normally I don't take passengers, but I'd 
haul, I'd rather haul you all over Hyrule than face disaster. Anyway, gotta fly. I have errands to run for my gram. Later. Oh, right, one more thing. My gram's a world-class potion brewer. Her shop is behind the Eastern Palace. I'd strongly suggest you go look for her. Her potions can't be beat. See? I'm looking out for you already, Greeny. Yeah. Uh, one second. Okay, it, it doesn't work. There's another entry somewhere. But I figured I'd try with this. I mean, this is the weird thing about this is you have to consider the... Sorry, the music just in the background, it's, it sounds funny to me. You have to consider all the possibilities. Makes me wonder if they took inspiration from Paper Mario to do this. Because this seems very Paper Mario like. Wait, can I walk across that? Maybe I can. Let's see. I mean, how else would you get over there? No, it blocks you. I think you have to go from above and drop, which makes sense, I guess. I think that is a candidate to bomb, but I don't have bombs. <laughs> So you can't drop from above. Hmm. Or maybe you can. Hold up. What about here? Not allowed. <laughs> I mean, kind of allowed, but not really allowed. What on earth? How do you... I thought I was being clever coming back here, thinking, yeah, I'll get some heart pieces. Okay, this is how this one's done. Ah, it's just money. Alright. I guess I'm kind of convinced. Uh, I'm gonna check the sanctuary real quick as well. <laughs> Even the sounds are the same. Bumpy. 
something wrong at the castle, Lunkles. First Saris, now this Dumpy doesn't know what to do. Okay. We're just going in here. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, items. This. Okay. Someone set up all the pottery again. <laughs> Someone set up all the pottery again. I mean, this is already open, so... Okay, that's what we want. How do we get it? From up high. Alright, easy. That's all I'm here for. to do with all this money. Oh, you know what? I just thought of something else. Because we were talking earlier about Australian stuff that you can eat. There's also this, uh... It's kind of our version of loaded fries that we, uh, have adopted from, uh, kebab shops. Or, like, I don't know. I think they call them shawarma shops. Elsewhere. But the point is... This is what you do. You get some fries, you get some meat from one of those places. Whether it's... I mean, here we use lamb, because we're into our lamb. But you get that, you put it on top of the fries. Then... You sprinkle some... Some cheese on top. Alright. The cheese blend is pretty good. Then... You do a crosshatch pattern, which, with like this, uh... Just pick a hot sauce. And some kind of like, uh, garlic aioli. You can use ranch. I've heard Americans use ranch. For this, and uh... When they tried it. And then you just eat that up with a fork. Do we have ranch there? Uh, you can buy it, but it's not, it's not as commonplace here. It does sound good. It'll, it'll comatose you, but it is, it is really good. It's just one of those late night... Heading home type meals. But it is, uh, it is a very common thing. That's something you can, you can try. The other thing is just... I'm scared to recommend it because I've never tried it. Um, outside of it being fresh, but... Kangaroo meat is good. If you're adventurous, it is it is quite good. And they actively encourage us to eat kangaroo here because it's more sustainable than cattle. And is a very good substitute. It tastes good. 
But I've, I've only ever... I mean, I live in Australia, right? So of course I can get it. It's re readily available at supermarkets and... It's, uh... It doesn't get frozen, so... I can't really vouch for how frozen kangaroo meat would taste. You don't know where you'd get kangaroo meat? You can find it in America! I, they, we export it everywhere. I've had, uh... I had a friend in Sweden send me a photo of a kangaroo, uh, frozen dinner. So, it, the meat definitely goes around the world. But I think you definitely has to go- you have to go to a special test. Speciality show sure, special test? Jeez. But if you do find the means to get it, uh... It's one of those meats that if you cook it too much it gets tough, but it's best made with... Definitely nothing higher than medium well. Like, medium rare is the recommended, but... You shouldn't go above that. I'm just seeing if there's anything here while I'm around. Step right up. Try your f feet at Hyrule Hotfoot. It's a mad dash for the finish. Put those feet of yours to the test, fella. I think I can't do this. Oh, racing shoes. Proper running boots. Yeah, no. Nope. Does it taste like chicken? No, um, kangaroo tastes like a, a good cut of beef. It's a bit- it's a bit stronger in taste, but like, uh... Just imagine any dish that you make with beef, you can make with kangaroo. So, you can have a kangaroo steak, um, you can do... kangaroo sausages. They're pretty common here in supermarkets. Um, if you have tacos, you can... use shredded or diced kangaroo meat. If you go to steakhouses here, uh, it's on the menu, and it is quite good. Also, hello again, Messiah. Again, I can't vouch for how it tastes frozen, but... Or after it's been frozen, but I think it should be okay, like... The first time I had it, uh... My, my dad went to a trade school for cooking. It's not really chef, but you know, just learning cooking skills to get... ...jobs in that industry, and uh... Yeah, he studied with... ...and became friends with an Aboriginal dude, and... ...my family got invited to go to, uh... ...this place where- I don't know if you needed permission to go in there, but... It's considered, you know, their land, so... Anyway, they went hunting, got kangaroo, and they serve it to me and my brother, and... Didn't... Old man didn't tell us what it was. So we're eating this meat that we assume is beef, but you know, whatever, we're eating. Old man waits until we're halfway, and then... Just goes, boys, you want to know what you just ate right there? And then he says, Skippy. Now, if you don't know who Skippy is, there's Lassie, which is, you know, the dog, right? Skippy is the kangaroo equivalent of that. So, the old, the old man expected us to kind of give him a look of horror. But instead, we just kept it eating. <laughs> it's <was> pretty good. <laughs> Wait, but I need Zora flippers to get there. I thought you're gonna give me Zora flippers. Skippy the bush kangaroo, exactly. Was I born in Australia? Uh, I was not. My family is originally from El Salvador, which is a country in Central America. So, I was a baby when we came here. I've been here 
pretty much my whole life. It's just I wasn't born here. And stretch. Hey, guy. You seem like you get around a lot. Don't forget to do your stretches. Okay. What? It's not your stretches that are troubling you? Then it must be that building over there, right? Huh? What do you mean? Which one? The one with the windmill. You can use the D-pad to see it. Yeah, that. Okay. Now you saw it, right? That building with the windmill? Saw it. There's no way to get to that windmill place by land. So that's why I learned to swim. Now I can get there anytime as long as I keep up with my stretching. Hmm, you want to learn how to swim too? I learned from the Zoras. Why well, learn from anyone less than the best? If you want to do the same, head far upstream way northeast to Zoras domain. Just don't forget to stretch first. Okay, so... I just kind of assumed that the bunny would have everything, but... Okay. <laughs> the one moment I chose to ignore what you would do in A Link to the Past, and now I have to do what you do in A Link to the Past. I still think this game is, is great. That complaint came from love. Uh... As far as exotic meats go, crocodile and kangaroo are probably like the two that I've had. I don't know, anyone else had anything? I guess you would call it exotic, but in some places maybe it's not. The bridge had broke and some guy just dashed by and jumped it though. Me? I could never do that. I suppose there's nothing to do but to swim to Zora's domain. What do you say? You can't swim? Oh hey, just like me, we're like brothers, swimless friend. And you know what? We both can't get to Zara's Domain either. Hey, Banana. <laughs> yeah, you haven't been on Twitch, but you've been on YouTube. Uh, I haven't done Terraria in a while, but I've been doing Pizza Tower on YouTube. I've been trying to get P ranks. You've tried bear meat, but it was pretty meh, really? Also, hello, Liquison. What does bear meat taste like? Alligator, that was it. Uh... What does gator taste like? Is it is it like chewy fish? Because that's what that's what crocodile tastes like. Huh. In case, uh, you were wondering, Liquison, what I was doing yesterday, I succeeded. <laughs> I got the shield. Not only that, I went five fights without taking damage, and then I finished the game, so this is why we're on to the next one now. Yeah, I think getting sleep definitely helped, but also, I got better. The meat you had was like, it had more connective tissue. That's... it's hard to imagine, hmm. Hey, welcome back, little hero. Give me boots! How do I get him to give me boots? Or do I need to do the running thing? Get good? <laughs> that was pretty much what it was, yeah. I learned- I learned how to parry properly, and, uh... I mean, that boss that just took me out immediately, I... I did it without taking damage. And then even the last fight, which I struggled with the first time I played. First try, and it, it was fine. So... The licking his lips, bro. Yes. I beat him twice. Both of his forms without taking damage. So it was satisfying. The shield was a badge of honor. And 
They actually played a pretty big role in helping me fight at the end. I guess because I got better at using it. It wasn't inconsequential. It was inconsequential because I couldn't use it properly the first time I played it. So this guy talks about boots. <laughs> Hang on, you gotta get some proper running boots. No. So it doesn't say it. I just don't want to go too much off the knowledge of A Link to the Past, but... The running shoes originally came from, uh... Uh, you know what, I'll go see him. This is going to be a problem with this game. <laughs> I'm just gonna... I'm gonna mix in my knowledge with A Link to the Past, and it's probably gonna hinder me just a little bit. Alright, there was also the person that ran into the woods in the south. Let's just go see. Racing bro? Oh, I didn't even notice the name. Okay, just wanted to see if that was different. Uh, yeah, how's, uh, Outer Worlds going anyway, Lickerson? Did you get past the, the fish? It's been fun watching you play that because it just makes me feel better about when I crash the ship, but also it, that game is very cozy. Makes me feel like I'm not alone <laughs> when I do stuff like that. Ugh. It's very easy to crash that ship. Or have it just move away from you and leave you behind. I think the worst thing I did in that game, um... Was somehow... I damaged the ship in just... I don't even know how it happened, but... I repaired it, I damaged it, then I damaged it again. It was like a repair loop of three times. And then after the third repair, I couldn't get back into my ship and flew myself into death. So... That's a cow, not a shield. Ah, tell me, how are things going? Do you have the pendants yet, Lunkles? I see. Well, I'm certain you will succeed. The princess has faith in you. The fate of our kingdoms rests in your hands. What? Boots, please. Okay, well, let me fly. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. <laughs> See, it just, it just, it just clicked. It just clicked. Notice this game has a lot of popularly used music. I mean, it's a sequel to A Link to the Past, so that's why it's using that music. It takes place on the same universe. <sighs> I, I need to stop thinking this is a link to the past.
I also forgot to get the thing, but... Aha, customer. Tell me, what can I do for you, child? Child, I want to buy. These are my deluxe potions, but I've been having trouble getting the right ingredients lately. I can only make red potion for now. That is, unless you bring me the necessary bits and pieces. Press A in front of the potion you'd like to buy. And the ingredient it uses. For now, red. Oh, I thought it might be a case if I get a free bottle, but nope. Okay. <laughs> I feel so dumb. <sighs> How about I use the mechanic that is the gimmick in this game? We gotta cross the gap. What a special ability. That's about as special as I come. That's going to happen more than once. I don't mind the friendly reminder. <laughs> just... Just need to say the word wall. That's it. I'll know what you mean. I'm going to forget to try the wall thing. Do you know what was messed up about these crabs in A Link to the Past? Those crabs did more damage than a soldier. I don't know how that was possible. Hyrule's army could be bested by crabs. Yach, what you doing? Watch where you're going. Wait a second, I've seen you. Aren't you that kid who was hanging out in the village? Well, whatever. Out of my way. The queen, the queen, please help, somebody help. The queen is in a sea of trouble, we've got to do something. But what? That guy doesn't even know all the trouble he just caused. <laughs> I love these noises. The Zoras look different. Yeah, right. Because you haven't played uh, A Link to the Past, have you, Liquison? Um, the Zoras in the first three games, they kind of behave like enemies. They shoot fire. Uh, Ocarina, of, Ocarina of Time was the first time they were friendly. But in A Link to the Past, you met the King of Zoras, and then you sort of become friends. <laughs> it's getting worse by the second. I can't believe that guy came in and stole the smooth gem right out from under a... That is so distracting. Okay, this is this is going to be an all This is going to be a very, very old reference, and if you get it, then congratulations, you're old like me. <laughs> I'm downloading an image, one sec. I don't know why, but I just thought of this. Not this part. This. <laughs> uh, please tell me someone got that. Someone, please. <laughs> uh, go, go, Power Rangers. There we go. Ay, 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 Rangers. Hold on. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, 
Parangers is not big and Slayton, that's understandable. Got it. I can't I can't read this. <laughs> that finless jerk probably thought it was just some sparkly thing, but the queen needs to contain it. <laughs> Without that smooth gem, our queen will keep oh. Ah, oh, my stomach hurts. She'll keep bloating up. But our poor queen... We've got to get that smooth gem back or else. <laughs> this is great. Now you know that I'm in my late 20s to 30s. I wish. I mean, if you want to know my age, I can I can say it. I've said it before. I've got nothing to hide. But that being said, that is what most people guess. So like, oh, you sound like you're in your mid 20s. So that's good. Forever young. I'm gonna wake up in a cold sweat just hearing that Zora Queen. No, you're gonna have dreams of that. You and me both. Uh, but yeah, I am a '90s kid. That that is definitely the uh, the takeaway from this chat. I mean, if this dude's a thief, I would imagine he's gone to where the thieves are, but... When I need to munch on things during streaming, what do I eat? Good question. Um, depends what I have, but my go-to is usually I have these... Kettle Cook chips. They're uh, salty, chili, jalapeno chips. They're great. But otherwise, uh, sometimes I'll have mixed nuts. That also works. Those are my two usual go-tos. Salty snack. If I'm kicking back with a beverage, there's this thing we have in Australia. Um, I don't know if they're, they're available elsewhere, I haven't heard of it yet, but they're called Twiggy Sticks. And, uh, they're like sticks of meat. I think for Europeans, some might understand beer sausage, but it's not quite like that. 
It's not quite like jerky because it has to be refrigerated. It's just like a stick of of meat and it's smoky. So it's it's shaped like a jerky stick, but it's it's meat. It's cured meat, smoked. I believe most of them did pork, but I know there's beef ones as well. Oh, this theme. Love it. <laughs> I, I probably have an image of it somewhere on my desktop because I've talked about it before. Um, it is very crunchy, but I, I mute the mic and sometimes people don't mind. I ask, like, do you mind if you hear crunch? And people are usually okay with it. It's very rare that I get, what? Streamer, how dare you eat? Okay, so there's no thieves here. I've played this game before, chat, but again, it's been a very long time, so I may as well have not played it. Do I have a photo of, of the, this thing I'm talking about? Everyone deserves snackies? Yeah. Okay, here they are. Alright, these are Twiggy Sticks, and in Australia, uh, if you go to parties, they'll usually have these on a platter, and then there's cheeses. This is used on a cheese platter, typically, and you might have some dip, like tzatziki, or maybe hummus, and then you have cheese, and they're smoked meat sticks. They come in two flavors. You either get the normal type, or you can get spicy ones, and the spicy ones, they're great. Especially if you, uh, have beer. It's just like, they're salty, they're smoky, it's good. <laughs> I want them so bad now. Yeah, unfortunately, because they require refrigeration, there's no way to send them to people. If it was something like jerky, it would be easier. You like spicy, so you think you would love the spicy kind. The spicy kind are good. And it's a decent spicy. You think you just call them dried sausage or smoked sausage. Okay. But I I'm not sure it's the same thing. Like, the consistency isn't of a sausage. It's, like, it's very chewy. They're their own thing, but I don't know. I'd have to try some other stuff to be able to tell you, yeah, this is what it's like. It's definitely not like jerky. But it's got the shape. It's... I think it's got the smell to some degree, but it's refrigerated, so... But, uh, they are good. Man, I'm not doing well in this one. <laughs> I've been running around. And I keep, uh... So now I gotta find this dude with the gem. But I don't know what direction he ran in. I mean, I assumed he would go to an area where there's thieves, but... Again, basing it off a link to the past knowledge, right? Wait a minute. Alright. If you were someone that just stole... a gem, what would you try to do with it? You would try to sell it. <laughs> I probably walked past it. Because, to be fair, I don't know what this thing looks like, so... Bury it? What would burying it achieve? Or just, like, pirate treasure? 
Good news, I have some new stock that may interest you. Please come and take a look. Have you seen this rare stone? Smooth and silk, go and feel it. Okay, that's not where I was gonna go. Just touching the treasure will make your skin happy all over. I was gonna go to here, because this is where the jail was originally. This is still a jail. Okay, it's just this warehouse now. <laughs> just like to bury stuff, fair enough. Yeah, do it. I mean, it's effectively paying for the flippers. The one on the right looks like a chicken nugget. Well, we're gonna take the chicken nugget to the Zora Queen. To the Zora Motorcycle. Man, now I want chicken nuggets. <laughs> Chicken is my favorite meat. If there was... If there was a case where, like... A doctor told me to stop eating chicken, I'd just keep eating chicken. All this food talk is making you hungry. It happens quite a bit here. It ends up in food talk one way or another. Alright chat, go to snacks while watching streams, or if you stream, stream. Since uh, Lickerson talked about the topic a little. I shared my go-tos. Like, let's say you're watching me, for some reason, hunt down a heart piece that takes three hours, nothing specific. What would you be eating whilst watching me suffer? <laughs> Goldfish? Goldfish are good. We have those here. It's almost your lunch break. Any plans? Times to get some chicken nuggies. I wish I could. It's 2.30 in the morning. I mean, I think I could if I really wanted to, but I'm not gonna. Wait, stranger. Do you have the Queen's Smooth Gem? Throw it in the pool. Quick hurry. Do you want to throw the Smooth Gem into the pool? Throw it. Aha. Uh -huh. The queen. The bloating has stopped. So what is the what is the what is the story behind this? She needs a stone so she doesn't bloat up. I want to know why. What is the lore behind the stone? Have to feed the kids are all home from school this week. Oh. Holiday, school break. Chocolate tends to garble the voice a little. And Chris are crunchy. Ha have you ever had someone tell you for eating? Like, hey, the crunching is too loud. <laughs> the loudest, the loudest crunching I had. Hang on. Let me, f let me find the picture of it. I don't want you to think that I'm saying something else, so I, instead... If you know what these are, you'll know what they are. I wonder if this is universal, but we'll see. But, uh, there used to be this place, uh... Where I used to live before this. And if you purchase a certain amount of food, because I live with a bunch of people, we would. They would give you a bag of these. If you know what these are, these things are super crunchy. And, uh, I used to eat these. And 
the response was, please eat, please eat more of them. They look like pork rinds. Uh, they're made out of prawn. Or shrimp. Like, here they're called prawn crackers, but they could be something else. But typically with, uh... With Asian takeout, if you buy a certain amount, some places will give you a bag of these for free. So... They are quite good, but very, very loud. But, you know, the feedback was, please eat more of these. So, I guess, Liquison, you should be able to eat your potato chips. If I can eat those things that are loud... Wait, why is she m motioning her... <laughs> She's motioning her boobs? Is she? It, she's waving air. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. This is, I guess, the, the speaking animation. Um, I can't confirm this. I, I don't have boobs, but, you know, chat members with boobs, when you talk, do you wave your arms towards your chest? <laughs> I don't know. Now you want to try them? So, I mean... It's, this is definitely not an Australian thing. Like, I would imagine if you go to, uh, an Asian takeout, you might, you might find them. Or if there's an Asian grocery store. You're Italian, so you do use your hands when you talk. Okay. I can't, I can't resist this, but when I was in high school, I had, uh, a very good friend. Was Italian, and, uh, you know. He told me- he told me this joke once, and the bit was that just every now and then he would just tell the joke because he knows it's funny. And no matter how many times I heard this joke, I just laughed every time. But we'd be hanging out and then randomly he'd turn to me and be like, Hey Will. And I'd be like, what? What do you call an Italian with a broken hand? What? Someone with a speech impairment. Just got me every time. It's just he has he has the face every every time he says it. Just he knows he's gonna get a laugh. Anyway. Uh <laughs> it's normal to do the touchy thing. Thanks to you, I'm free of my pool. That was rather undignified. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Oren. Queen of the Zoras. I don't know how I came to rely on that troublesome smooth gem, but I do need it, so thank you deeply. I want to know the story behind this gem. I am filled with gratitude. Please take these, won't you? Zora's flippers, time to jump in with both feet. Press A to dive and B to swim faster. They will allow you to swim and dive so you may travel the rivers and roam the lakes. But my Zoras do consider that their territory and while I tell them to get along with people, I have to admit they just don't listen, so be careful out there. Oh, that's the explanation? <laughs> that's the explanation is just... Sorry, some of my Zoras are dicks. Uh, they just... They just like to attack people randomly. Oh, you know what? I should always, always, always... Always attempt this. Is there a wall nearby? Can I, can I latch onto a wall? I can. What? Oh, hearts. Okay. Alright. I had to check, I had to check. I gotta get into the habit of remembering that this power is a thing. <laughs> I mean, in Skyward Sword, there was a lady who we cleaned her house. And, uh, whenever you would use the... I don't even know the name of the item, but, you know, it blows air. She just made these strange sounds, so it's not the worst thing we've seen in a Zelda game. 
Waving at the boobs, sure. Gus Bellows, yes, that's the one. It seems so weird you can turn 2D at times. That's the power. There's a magician wizard thing that turns people into paintings. So when he turns you into a painting, um, you have this amulet, old wristband, sorry, that someone gave you, and it has the power to resist the painting thing, and then you can just do this as well. So you have a similar power to the wizard. It's fantasy. <laughs> I mean, wouldn't you want the power to be able to turn into a painting and walk along walls? Now that I mention it, no, why not? <laughs> you have the choice, you manipulate it. Like, imagine you wanted to avoid someone or sneak past, like, bam, inconspicuous graffiti. Huh. You know, that graffiti on the wall awfully looks a lot like Will, but it can't be Will. Alright, better keep going. If it was easily controllable, well, it is. I'm just pressing a button. It's a, it's like a turning on a switch. Oh crap! <laughs> I'm gonna have to go to the rabbit. Okay, we have the symbol. It's uh. It's like a... almost looks like celery, broccoli, some sort of vegetable. Something with stalks. Alright, if you could take any item from The Legend of Zelda to be able to use in real life, which item would it be? I'm trying to think back on all the items I've gotten. Welcome back. I still haven't found anywhere else to stay, so I spruce things up in here. <laughs> the money? But that currency wouldn't be useful anywhere else. I made it into a nice little shop for myself. Pretty great, isn't it? Unless, you know, where you are, they changed the currency, national currency, to be rupees. So I take things didn't go as planned. But the item I lent you came in handy, right? You know, there's actually plenty more where all that came from. Ravia is all about helping heroes. And the way things are going, I think you're going to need my help. You know what they say, you wash my ears, I'll wash yours. How about you rent me your house, and I'll rent you lots of items. Then it's a deal. I mean, it's not like you ever come here, right? Alrighty then. Here's how my shop works. I rent a wide range of items and weapons to you. And the rental period? That's the best part. You keep the rentals for a long time. Specifically until the next time you fall in battle, which might be never, right? Sure, you look tough. Fairy bottle? Oh, so like if something bad happens, you get resurrected? That's, that's a pretty good choice. My pal Shiro here will swoop in to collect my property. So... Instead of mourning the loss of your friend, Ravio, you're going to just take your items back. The grappling hook object looks fun to have in real life. But I guess the, the key is, like, you get the item, but do you necessarily get the skill to use it? Ah. 
Right, just like that. Sweep right in, collect my stuff while you, uh, just lie there. You see anything you want? I've got plenty of gear besides the bow. If you find anything you like, just walk up to and press A. I think... If it was a case of, uh... Let's say you do get the skill. Hook shots would probably be cool. But if you don't get the if you don't get the skill, I think one of the magical items that give you a latent ability, like being able to breathe underwater, it's probably a good choice. Okay. So as long as I don't fall in battle, we're okay. Tornado rod. Okay. I'm renting the boomerang, because as an Australian, I need to rent it. Okay. There we go. I mean, I could... I could... Should I rent the whole thing? I'll just rent everything. As long as I don't die, right? Like, it's fine. What I call a boomerang that doesn't come back? A stick. Don't die. Hey, that's not what I wanted. There we go. So, I mean, this is the only thing about this is this is a little bit... A little bit broken that you can do this, in my opinion, but it is fun. Hey chat, someone complimented me on my parking today. It was such a good feeling. They left me a note and everything. The note said parking fine. But um, <laughs> there's a go on, really? Give that one a pass, yeah, see. That was fine. Ah, ha 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 I wonder how many people just disconnected after that joke. It's always high risk when you drop, like, a, a pun joke. Oh. This just ends up here. Ha! 
high risk potential reward. Yeah. Took you a while to get that. <laughs> really? That's okay. I don't know, man. Like, sometimes I get lost in this game. I mean, I've been walking around, and purpose is, is a bit difficult. I don't know. I almost feel like asking for information. You know what? Okay, chat, if you have any information at all, I'm gonna put this plea out. If you have any information at all, please give it to me as I am, uh, writing an encyclopedia. <laughs> How's that one? That one was probably not a good one. This is what I was looking for. Okay, now I can move on in peace. <laughs> I'll stop, I'll stop, I'll stop with the jokes. Um... I mean, I guess I have the potential to clear this entire area. The jerks are fine. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. Okay, hookshot cross. All right, that's that's everything, right? I think. Oh, no, it's not. Isn't this accessible now, or am I wrong? Because this was a hammer, but... No, it is. Wow. bottle though. I think this game is going to take longer than I think. <laughs> Just based on the start already. I mean, maybe I'm, I'm being too uh, critical here because... 
A Link to the Past, I can finish that game pretty quickly. Even 100%ing it. What's this? Do not enter, do not blow up wall. Very strange creature inside. Which game is after this one? Triforce Heroes. I'm playing them in order of release, so Triforce Heroes is after this one. I'm I'm at a loss for words here. Oh my, oh my, what business have you with Mother uh, my, oh my. <laughs> my oh my, Mother my oh my. Forgive me if my spirits aren't flying so high. We are on a great voyage through all the worlds, my tykes and I. And I lost sight of my little Mayamais. All a hundred of my babies. Oh no, this is Koroks. By and by. Could you find all of them? You'll hear my children crying, calling for their mother Mayamai. Of course. Thanks, Mother Mayamai finds you quite a kind child. Here, take this. It'll help you know when my tykes are nearby. Oh yes, upon the Mayamai map you can surely rely. Go tap the Mayamai icon on your touchscreen. Those numbers tell you how many of my little Mayamais are in each area. At least until you rescue some, and then it'll tell you only how many more you have yet to find. Please go search for all my Mayamais. I mean, it's only a hundred. They call out with such cute chirping sounds, yet they must be so sad missing their Maya mother Mayamai. Um, Kraken, yes, but also what is that thing on its head? Is that poop? Yep, it's shit. <laughs> oh, it's a shell. <laughs> it's a shell? It looks like poop. But you're right, it's a shell. My bad. <laughs> I thought it was poop. I don't know why. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm the weird one. I'll acknowledge I'm the weird one here. Everyone gives a normal answer. A shell, a crown. I'm like, nah, it's poop. What? How do I- how do I get them? Okay, there's one here, but like... Yeah, use- use the hammer. Wall? Ah! Yeah. Caught a lost Mayamai. Take it to Mother Mayamai, won't you? Yeah! Chat, I'm still not convinced I'm gonna find all 900 Koroks again. <laughs> I just don't know if I want to do it again. But I guess uh, that's the second time around it might not be so bad. Because I, I, I will have learnt some lessons, but... Okay, well, see, now I kind of have to go look for them. I hear one already. Do you hear it? I hear- I hear one. Yeah, I hear it. Okay, I need to swim down there. Try to play Stardew Valley. 
never really seen or played it, but it sounds awesome. As someone that has sunk <laughs> probably a thousand hours into that game at this point, yeah, it's worth it. I have to listen to the sound, but the music is... Can I roll into trees? I'm getting distracted by... Oh, there. No, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you know what? Let's just not worry about this yet. I need Pegasus boots. We'll get Pegasus boots later. I think once I get Pegasus boots, then that allows more exploration. Just right now. It's very limited. There is one thing, though, that I, I need to check. <laughs> Gee, this... What a conveniently placed puddle. Ah, right, there it is. But also, this. This is still here. What? What gives? I was playing with those birds. You just don't like my f feathered friends. I like birds. The joyful way they fly around always lifts my spirits. I'd love to fly just once. You need something? Let's talk. Hmm? You came to such an out-of-the-way place to chat with me? You know, this bottle washed up here a little ways back, and now you come on by. Exciting day for me. Too much excitement, I gotta admit. I just like things to stay nice and simple. Just me and the birds, yeah. So do me a favor, take this bottle with you. It'll do my nerves good. I mean, cool that it's the same. I think, honestly, the highest nostalgia I could hit with this if I could somehow connect the Super Nintendo controller to this. Because, <laughs> I mean, the touchscreen isn't really used that much. I could tap it every now and then just to... Do what I need to do. It sounds like fun. Well, that's how I've been playing the Game Boy games. I've been playing them on the analog pocket and then using a Super Nintendo control. It was great. Alright. Save! <laughs> Never! No break allowed. Uh, gear. Like this one. That. Alright, what does this do? This is a new art. Oh. The controller will hurt to press? Nah, not at all. Are you kidding? It has the best D pad ever. It's nice and big. Which Nintendo was it that was hard for her to press? The original one, the uh, NES. It was a, a rectangle and... Uh, yeah, admittedly it did hurt after a while. The plastic was pretty hard on that one.
Okay, I see the rupee on the wall. Okay, this is something that hurt my childhood a little. But I did not know that... Okay, it doesn't work here. But in some Zelda games, using the boomerang on these things destroys them. But uh, I guess here, the case is the Gale Tornado Wand, whatever, rod. Which makes sense. Rub them of their fire. You think it was the Nintendo 64 controller? <laughs> That's a pretty big difference. Just look up photos of them and let me know. The N64 controller had a good D-pad, it just wasn't used often. The GameCube one, I don't know what they were thinking with that D-pad. Everything else about the GameCube controller is amazing. It's just, they dropped the ball on the D-pad. Just a little bit. The, the, the GameCube D-pad was tiny. You were talking about the GameCube D-pad? So the, you're talking about that the D-pad hurt to use, otherwise the controller was fine. The controller felt really comfortable, otherwise it was just that D-pad. Ugh. I tried playing Game Boy games using the Game Boy Player, and... It was functional, it's just like... The D-pad just did not feel right, so... I waited until I got what I have now. It was worth the purchase. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna get punished for exploring so much. Gotta go see the Mario. Uh, yeah, I'll be streaming later in my day because I'm gonna see the Mario movie tomorrow and also I'm hanging out with my brothers because it's one of, well, both of their birthdays, but it's one of their birthdays officially, so I'll be uh, doing the evening stream. Nothing during the day, unfortunately, which is more friendly for you Americans, but uh, yeah, I'm usually working or... Saw the Mario movie, it was good. Yeah, I've, I've heard it's good. Despite what critics might say. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, I'll... I'll talk about my thoughts on the movie when, when I get back. I might just do a video so then I don't spoil people, but... Yeah. Um, but later, Cookie. Thanks for popping in today. that. I need, uh, I just need to think. I can't, I gotta stop thinking there's a secret around every corner. That's my problem. Zelda 1 ruined me. 
Because this is what you had to do in Zelda 1 to figure stuff out. You just had to try literally everything. In the hope that there was a secret there. I wonder if there's anyone that plays this game and doesn't rent every item right away. I do appreciate, though, that there's no ammo. It's pretty good. Okay, this was... <laughs> that was a mistake. <laughs> I went out when I shouldn't have. I needed to wait for the magic. So, hold up. Let's just sit here for a minute. Oh, man. Okay. I mean, I appreciate the 3D nature of this. Oh, I can't go through there. It's a wall. Uh-oh. Hold on. To see, this is higher. I need to get one lower. I was gonna try and use a boomerang, but I don't think it's gonna work. Is this a mistake? It is. It is. It is. Go back. Go back. Go back. Okay. What? I guess. Hang on. It doesn't go far. Oh, it does. But what if I didn't rent the boomerang? <laughs> like, could I've just been... I'm sure there's another way to do it. There's no way. Like, would I've just been screwed if I didn't take the boomerang? <laughs> oh, come on. Okay, I think I need to do it in one shot. What is the point of this? Nope. Okay, don't. Why is that flame there? get up. There we go. <laughs> what happens if I die in the flame? Dude's gonna turn up regardless. There's a key there. Okay. 
Okay, what what am I missing here? <laughs> okay, that wasn't the answer. There's there's a key here. Can't use wall thing here. come back, isn't it? Alright, that was the big key. But I, I don't even have... This is way too early. I don't want to go there yet, because there's so much left in this dungeon. Cause myself problems. Stop. Like, get. What are you doing? Get no. <laughs> oh no. I'm stuck. Oh. <laughs> I was worried I was gonna be stuck there and have no way back, and then death is the only option. It's okay. No, this happens to me all the time. Now what? There's still a room there with a chest. Okay, that's the way down. Oh, this just takes me back. How do I get that chest to the south? Hmm. Hang on. No, but see, that's not going to let me get there either. I need to be able to get along that wall, but I can't. There's a northern room. I think I need to go to that northern room. Okay. Okay. 
Of course it's right. Ah! I messed up. There's probably something really important up there. Crap. <laughs> New York? What? What about New York? Oh, because there's rats? I mean, isn't that... Like, rats aren't specific, are they? Granted, I've never seen a rat before, but... Wee. Okay. So the only mystery that remains is that key. Why is that... Why is that key... I wonder... All oh, right. Why is that key inaccessible? This is the thing I don't get. Oh. Yeah, I need to solve this. What is this? I tried putting out the flames, but it didn't work. Maybe if I defeat everything, they might be just... No? Hmm. Hmm. Well, I can't go back now. I guess I gotta just keep continuing on this dungeon. But see, this is... If I continue this way, I'm gonna get screwed. What's up this way? There's more fans. What about down here? I can't get across this gap. No, it doesn't let me go any further. I'm going to hate the answer to this. This is going to be something where the answer is so minor. That took too long. It's the longer something takes, the more likely that the answer is something minor that you overlooked.
and their health. Oh no. Uh. <laughs> that was almost a... Uh... Yeah. Okay, I need health right now. That was almost a 300 rupee mistake. I'm not sure how the the respawn system goes when it comes to pots, but it looks like if I just keep leaving and entering rooms, they do they do reappear. I guess this is fine for now. Here. Oh boy. This is this is a puzzle. Damn it. I didn't want that to happen. It was, the it was the uh, so, cool, how do I fix this now? <laughs> Am I just doomed? Yeah, okay, yeah. I nearly had it. Oh, I did it again. <laughs> Top one! Top. Top. Thank you. We weren't kidding. With the House of Gale. bad up there. is true to its name. Ah. Oh. So much scarier that they they run around freely like that. Uh, okay, I need to get up. Hmm. 
All right, that worked. We're nearly here. Okay, what's what's the go here? That wasn't it. What am I looking at here? Of course. Gotta go, might come back later. Uh... Once I'm done with this dungeon, I'm probably gonna end the stream, because it's late for me. But, thanks for popping in, Banana. Appreciate that. Enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah, this is bonus stream time as far as I'm concerned right now. Again. Okay. Uh oh, that's fine, it's fine. I can't believe the skulls hurt when they're uh they're not on fire. understand why this game gives you lots of money. It's fine, just, just don't pay attention to it. <laughs> Who is this Beyblade looking thing? Oh, this music, yes! I love this music. Revealing anything. Oh, okay, that's why. I just have to hit it. No! <laughs> okay, so it's not like... I have to go climb back up again. Okay, here we go. This is a cool fight. Oh.
This is just an attack on, uh... I don't even know what it's called, but, you know, the worm boss. I'm sure it has a proper name, but I don't remember it. I mean, since it's probably going to play something important. You got the Pendant of Wisdom. Keep your mind sharp. Alright, chat. <laughs> As uh, the bird has told me, why not take a break? Yeah, that's that sounds like an excellent idea. This is where I'm gonna say goodnight and uh, also say thank you for tuning in. Hope you had fun tonight, particularly if you're new here. Appreciate you checking out the stream and uh, hanging out. I'll be back tomorrow and we will continue a link between worlds now so uh once i get back from seeing the mario movie uh yeah i'll stream some more and in the meantime if you want to watch more of my content there's always youtube just search for the channel over there i have three channels each for different purposes vods highlights and every now and then i'll do a stream on youtube but that channel also has shorts so if you want one handy place to find all that stuff, uh, the website in the bottom right hand corner of your screen, shambles.gg, has everything you could possibly want from me on the internet, so I hope you do check that out, and if you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking and staying to the end, hope you're enjoying, and consider subscribing slash doing all that fun algorithm stuff. Supports the channel, but also lets me know what people enjoy and to do more of it, so yeah. Alright, I'm gonna stop talking, I'm gonna go face plant in the bed once again. Thank you all for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. I don't know if anyone's on that I can raid, but I'll have a quick look anyway.